China's cast space named company has entered the space race. The capsule has a familiar look. It appears to be a clone of SpaceX's famous Dragon capsule, which has been successfully transporting astronauts to space for the past three years. As Caspace sets their sights on sending people into space, they have announced plans to develop a single-stage reusable rocket that would take seven passengers on a 10-minute journey above the Kármán line. This boundary located at 62 miles or 100 kilometers is widely considered the divide between Earth's atmosphere and outer space. The question on everyone's mind is how Elon Musk will react to the apparent imitation of his company's successful Dragon capsule. In this video, you will find the answer and everything there is to know about. Without further ado, let's get into it. This Chinese reusable capsule is pushing the boundaries of space travel. At 15 meters high and 3.35 meters in diameter, this sleek capsule features four windows and is powered by 515 Texi-1 engines, with the remarkable ability to be reused more than 30 times. The crew capsule will make a safe return to Earth with the aid of three parachutes, again taking inspiration from SpaceX's massive Starship Super Heavy rocket. Chinese space tourism is set to soar with the first launch in 2025, offering sub-orbital seats at an affordable price of $280,000. Although this Chinese capsule bears a striking resemblance to SpaceX's Dragon capsule, there are differences, such as a capacity to carry 20 tons to low Earth orbit, compared to SpaceX's 100 tons. Tech billionaire Elon Musk may not be too concerned about this matter. Known for his progressive views on innovation and intellectual property, Musk has stated that SpaceX avoids using patents to build rockets, as they can hinder progress in the industry. It seems that Musk's approach to innovation may have allowed SpaceX to remain ahead of the curve. In an interview in 2012, Elon Musk expressed his opposition to the use of patents, saying that SpaceX has essentially no patents. He explained that publishing patents would be a waste of time as the Chinese would just use them as a reference manual. In a recent CNBC interview, Elon Musk spoke about SpaceX's use of strong stainless steel in the construction of its rockets. When asked if the company held patents for the material, Musk responded with the firm no. You know, the problem is like patents are generally used as a blocking technique. Right. They're, they're, they're like using like landmines in warfare. Right. Uh, so they, they, they don't actually help advance things. They just stop others from following you. Uh, and most, most patents are, are, are BS. He went on to explain his views on patents, saying that they are often used as a way to block other companies from advancing and that most patents are BS. Despite these views, he acknowledged the progress being made by China Space, the country's main space contractor. The company is working towards making China a leading space power, focusing on developing capabilities, space infrastructure, and self-reliance. This perspective aligns with Musk's goal of making space accessible to everyone and advancing technology for the benefit of humanity. In a lecture broadcast by China Central Television, the head of China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation presented a vision for China's space ambitions. The goals align with the president's strategy to build a powerful spacefaring nation. The ultimate objective is to become a technologically advanced and economically self-sufficient aerospace power, aiming to be one of the world's leading space nations by 2030 and a fully comprehensive space power by 2045. According to the head of this corporation, the current space exploration landscape is facing a number of significant challenges. The recent restart of the great power competition by the US has created new conditions that must be navigated in order to ensure success in space. The exclusion of the so-called Wolf Clause from the International Space Station project and the addition of Chinese aerospace firms to the US export blacklist are two examples of these challenges. He also believes that the US is seeking to gain control of strategic resources in space. This has the potential to impact the ability of other nations to fully utilize space for their own purposes. Despite these challenges, he remains optimistic about the future of Chinese space exploration and the possibilities it holds. By working together and addressing these challenges head on, it's possible to achieve greater success and continue to push the boundaries of what is possible in space. 
China has set its sights on exploring the depths of space, with a focus on developing its own independent interplanetary remote sensing lander, or IRLS program. The country is also seeking partnerships to enhance its efforts in space exploration. China's IRLS will be developed alongside and separate from the U.S. Artemis program, reflecting the nation's ambitions to be a leader in space exploration. In addition to the IRLS program, China also has plans to embark on a Mars sample return mission in the next 10 to 15 years. This marks a shift from plans of delivering material from the Red Planet to Earth in 2031, suggesting a possible delay in the timeline. China's space exploration efforts are not limited to Mars. The country has also set its sights on studying the head and tail of the Heliopause, with missions targeting Jupiter and Uranus. These ambitious endeavors demonstrate China's commitment to becoming a major player in space exploration and scientific discovery. China's space exploration initiatives are not just limited to the development of the IRLS and Mars Sample Returns missions, but also extend to the study of exoplanets. The Mayan Project, led by the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, is a pioneering effort aimed at exploring and uncovering the secrets of distant worlds. This project has the potential to provide groundbreaking insights into the formation and evolution of planetary systems and our understanding of the universe. Space exploration and transportation have long been a source of human ambition and achievement. In recent years, plans have been made to land on the moon once again, further expanding our knowledge of our nearest celestial neighbor. However, it's not enough to simply reach the moon and beyond. In order to truly maximize the benefits of space exploration, it is essential to focus on building up robust infrastructure and developing capabilities that can help us better utilize this frontier. In conclusion, China's efforts in space exploration are poised to make significant contributions to our understanding of the universe. From developing the IRLS program and planning a Mars sample return mission, to studying exoplanets with the Mayan project, the country is demonstrating its commitment to advancing the frontiers of science. We hope this episode has provided a glimpse into the exciting world of space exploration, and we look forward to bringing you more updates in the future. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for tuning in, and see you in the next one.